Yo, what's going on guys, man? It's your boy Pryoxys and I'm back with another video. And now it's very rare that I do use RDA, but I just thought it'd be a good idea to stand with Anthony Pettis. If you guys don't know, Anthony, uh, RDA actually beat Anthony Pettis to become the champion. And uh, pretty good win. Oh, we're going against Chubby Thoughts. We're currently on him 5-0, but RDA ain't that great, but we're going to have some fun with him, man. That's all that matters, right? Understand that. Let me tell y'all something. When you're playing video games, all that matters is that you're having fun. If you're not having fun, you're stressing yourself over a video game that you intentionally got on to have fun. Obviously, there's competitiveness, but have fun, bro. All right, here we go, man. Anthony Pettis, we know his footwork is crazy. We know he got some good kicks. So I'm just going to watch him. RDA is kind of a Muay Thai type of fighter where they're real flat-footed. They're not crazy on the feet, so that's what I'm going to be doing here. RDA also doesn't have the greatest reach. But Artie is a really good wrestler. We check that kick. Okay. So I'm just going to play patient. Just watch him see what he does. I think the low kicks will be money here as well. Based off how slow he's playing. But just got to be careful. Because again, RDA doesn't have the greatest kickboxing. And he's a bit short. The problem is... His hey, kickboxing isn't bad, but he's a shorter fighter, so it's harder to land those kicks versus where someone can basically land the punches on you. But you can see here this guy is throwing some crazy kicks. But I'm just doing what I do. I'm doing what I do. There we go. Go to the body. And basically this fight, I just want to attack all point of um anthony pettis he doesn't have the best chin boy his chin's like a 94 i'll give him that but he doesn't have the best body health and his i don't believe his legs is that great either so that's definitely one i'm going to be looking to attack he does have a good switch stance we evade that kick the leg okay You can see he's kind of random with what he's doing, but it's a little bit predictable. Like that right there. I know that's coming. Maybe a kick to the body is coming. There it goes right there. He did land it, which I mean, I'm completely fine with. I also got to watch out for the jump kick to the body. Ducking roundhouse. That was something new. Jab, jab, cross. I figured he blocked down low because right before I threw the jab, he actually blocked low. Kick the leg. Maybe a low kick here. Okay, spin kick to the body. Fake, 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 low kick. Just consistently faking while he's retreating. Get him thinking high. And then go low. I actually tried to throw a front kick there. Okay. And maybe this will be a series where I use my favorite fighter in each weight class. Come here. We drop him. I think, I think I'll do that. I think we'll start at lightweight and I'll double upload. I'm going to do a Calvin Cater video as well. Because Calvin Cater is my favorite featherweight. And um, my favorite fighter in all weight classes, man. We'll, we'll, I think it'll be a pretty interesting uh video. We could start at, obviously, lightweight with RDA because he's my favorite fighter. I think that'll be a pretty good, uh, pretty good video idea. Now, some weight classes I kind of like multiple people. Like, um, he's aggressive. Okay. Just cause of that, let's just test his wrestling real quick. See, see if he got the wrestling. Oh, he got both of the double up, uh, double. So I shot a takedown, and what y'all just seen was basically I was able to turn a takedown twice. If you have a, a significant stamina advantage, and if you look at that, you notice how in the, when I turned the takedown and tried to take it down, he denied it. I had a stamina advantage. And uh, I was able to turn it again. Okay. So right now, I just know I'm confident. I'm confident in everything happening in this match. I haven't taken much damage. Okay. 
see if we can get the ankle pick. There we go. But as I was saying, like, um, let's say, uh, like what weight class? Bantam weight. I like Cruz. See if we can pause her. I like Cruz, and I like Song Yudongs. But I just uploaded a Song Yudong video, so I think we'll do Cruz for that weight class. Um, I mean, you got the women's divisions, obviously the heavier divisions. Just have some fun, man. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah, this guy's getting his transition to now. Let's go crucifix now. Okay, I assume he's going to go to the right. And he does. And I thought I denied it. On ping, that's denied all day. <laughs> I'll say that. All right, let's posture back down. He tries to go up. Deny that. Mm, let's go back mount. He's probably going to deny it. No, he actually didn't deny the back mount. All right, so we get the back. We'll go top mount. We'll take the top mount from him. Uh, is he going to go up? He does. Oh, he actually tried to go for a submission. Then he tried to go for that. Oh, this is an arm bar. All day. All day. All day. GG's. This should be GG's. If I don't get this arm bar, it's... Oh, yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm actually terrible. I'm actually terrible at this game. He has a lot of stamina missing. I'm not able to get this submission. Honestly, depressing. But I don't go for submissions much anymore, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't really go for submissions anymore. Well, really, too many submissions as often as I used to, especially when I play UFC 3, bro. I was probably... If I rate myself the best submission artist in UFC 3, I like the only people I put over myself was Retro Rocky, Matty Ice, and D Mart. I personally don't think anybody was better at submissions than me besides those three guys. And D Mart is because I keep. Come on, man. The school of D Mart. Uh. Matty Ice, I mean, he was a problem, and then Retro Rocky was a pure submission artist, but he definitely picked it up, and Retro Rocky picked up the strike and was able to, he was just an all-around fighter or player. And I say fighter because he'll trigger some people. You're not funny. You're playing video games, dude. Sounding like Shaggy. This guy did not like that groundwork last match. Oh, we checked the kick, and then we rock him. Go to the leg. Y'all like that, huh? That is what you call... You know what's funny? Um, people will call that bobbleheading. But what people don't understand, what a bobblehead does... You go Google bobblehead. All right? And you'll see that they... Bobbleheading is just... Un, uncontrolled. Just... That's bobbleheading. Where you're just throwing your head around, right? If I slip, right... If I slip towards this and I roll around, that's literally like boxing. Obviously, in this game, I think the head movement is a bit exaggerated, as it should. Like, see right there? But that's not bobbleheading. And, and that's a, especially uh, another player that'll do stuff like that is Romero. He's somebody that completely understands... You know, slip and rolling. Anyone that, that knows boxing knows where you slip and roll. Or you can start here and roll out. But again, you can't tell that to people that are block breakers and rock. You don't want to break your block and they're mad because you, you slip and roll. Or you duck and roll. When you're using head movement, just so you guys understand, you know, your head shouldn't be where you move it. You shouldn't keep it there. Head want to consistently move. Uh... Good night. Let's throw a head kick when he gets up. No? Nice. See, right there, I just know this dude is getting desperate. He's probably going to throw a spinning hill. His leg is screwed, too. I don't know why he's trying to kick mine. There goes the spinning hill. Yeah, this fight's finished. This fight's finished. 
It's over with. Just based off of how he's playing, he's giving up. Where's the spinning hill? He quits. He actually quit. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming, but it's all good, man. Super anticlimactic, chubby thoughts. Come on, man. You can't go out like this, bro. But hey, it is what it is. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the next fight. And uh, that'll probably be my last one. If you guys are enjoying the video, do me a favor. Don't forget to hit the like button. All right. Really appreciate it. Love you guys. Let's move forward. All right, man. Here we go. Mr. AJ. He's using Charles Dubronx. It's definitely going to be a, a pretty tough matchup. Definitely going to be a pretty tough matchup. But I think I can get it done. I think I can get it done. Here we go. Mm, that was a nice counter. That was a nice counter. I think the high kick is there. I can see it. I feel like the high kick is there. I don't know why, but when I get these feelings, a lot of times I'll be right. Come on, I'm be telling y'all, man. And this is what, a minute into the fight? Oh, that's bad. That was a good block. Mm. He going to wrestle. I respect it. But I'm RDA, man. I'm not a slouch on the ground. I'm not a slouch on the ground. Oh, they gave him that denial. He goes top mount. He goes right. He doesn't deny it. Oh, he gets side control. Let's see if he denies the sprawl, as he should. He didn't deny the sprawl. Let's see if we can go up. I wonder if he's going to give me this. I figured he wouldn't. I figured he wouldn't. Okay, we go back to the guard. I didn't, I'm not thinking he'd actually go with these transitions, and he is. Boom. Okay. Actually, I need to be careful before he gets side control. I guess my denials don't work. Nice deny. I'm going to let him get off these strikes. He goes side saddle. He denies the backside. Let's see if he goes for the arm triangle. Nope. Here we go. We get the side control. Go back to the sprawl. I'm okay with taking the guard. We've got a minute left in the round. Man, we just got to be patient, honestly. Just got to be patient. Back to the guard. Fakes. Just trying to see what he's going to do. Okay. Deny that. Deny that. Let's try to get up and then just land something on the feet. Okay. To the body, and that's the end of the round. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, I know obviously he wants to wrestle. Um, also think with his ground game, I'm being impatient and I'm throwing strikes on our need to. And um, I'm gonna stop that once he takes me down again. I'm just gonna basically fake, fake my transitions, and only use those, and then look to deny his transition and work from there. Because basically he's transitioning while I'm throwing punches, and because of that, I cannot transition. Here we go. Let me change my music. I don't know. I'm listening to Roddy Rich right now. I'm listening to some more Ray. Here we go. Round two again. We was kind of getting him in the striking department. So I expect him to possibly come out with some more wrestling. But I mean, he just did good right there with the striking. So I wouldn't be surprised if he keep it striking. Good roundhouse. Low kick. I could also wrestle him as well. RDA is a really good uh, 
Got really good ground game and submissions. And Duke Bronx doesn't have the greatest ground game. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Nice. So I can tell right now he's only throwing jabs and crosses when he's getting in the range with the jabs and crosses. So if I can slip, there goes a hook right there. You see jab, jab, then cross to the body. Okay. Nope, they're not that. And again, I'm RDA. I can still do, like, I can do work myself. I can do work myself on the ground, man. I'm still Rafael. Let's see if we can get the top mount. We get it. I expect him to go up or, let's see. He doesn't do anything, so we're going to try to posture up. He doesn't give it to me. He goes to the right. Fake. Fake. Wait a second. Transition. He denies it. See what I mean? He kind of just waits till I throw punches to transition. Okay. Let's see if we get the top mount. Yep. He's looking for the side control transition. Here we go. Back down, okay. You can see you can see how his ground game isn't all that great when he's the fighter on the bottom. I can see that right now, right off the rip. He's waiting on me to throw a strike to transition. Ah, right, he goes up. I thought I got that one. So you can pass her up. Pass her back down. It's fake. He didn't bite on that. Let's see if he did. Oh, there it goes. I assume he's going to go down. I mean, go up when he gets back up to the feet. I feel like he's going to go up. Oh, he goes to the right. Any reversal position. And I'm okay with that. Okay. Didn't do much damage there. Deny that. Get back up to the feet just because. Well, kind of screwed myself. Oh, I almost hit him with the nasty counter. I almost hit him with the nasty counter. Ran out of time, though. All right, so again, still making reads, still trying to figure out what he's doing. For the majority of that round, we were definitely a fighter on top. Okay, here we go. Mm. Go to the body. We know Du Bronx doesn't have the best stamina. It isn't bad, but it just is the best, the best cardio. Okay, we know again he wants to wrestle. Go to the body. One, two. Uh. Maybe front kick. There he goes. Hit him up top. High kick up top. He probably expected it to the body because we've been working the body. So I switch it up. Then we're going to throw a, high, a roundhouse to the body. Then a switch kick to the body. We miss it. Maybe he's going to throw a front. Okay. He gets another takedown. And again, here we go. Oh, they gave him that. I'm actually surprised. Just wait. Be patient. There we go. There goes the denial. Let's go sprawl. See what he does here. He's going to throw these punches. And I'm okay with that. Completely fine with that. If he doesn't do anything, then he gets nowhere. There he goes. He gets back up to the feet. Remember, we got a knockdown this round. So... Check that kick. Oh, I tried to slip that cross. But I'm while I'm upset I missed that opportunity, he's going to keep throwing it because he landed it. Here we go. Maybe a front kick. Okay. There goes a front kick there. High kick. Go to the body. 
Nice. Woo! He got to be careful. <laughs> he got to be careful. And I'm throwing these punches, and I shouldn't be throwing punches. We can get back up, though. So we good. Maybe a front kick. There it goes. Try to sidestep it. Nice. He being a little bit more aggressive. Okay. Dubon's definitely got better hands than RDA in this game. But we got to look for the jab cross, the combination that he keeps throwing. Nice. Okay. Now he's switching it up. Notice how he ain't throwing that combination no more, which is actually good. That was nice. That was nice. That was a good round for him. Let's check the stats. That was a really good round for him. And this is the problem uh, with RDA. He doesn't have the best striking, so it's kind of hard to work with him. I probably need to go to wrestling offensively against this guy because, again, I mean, I was doing work on the ground. Wasn't doing a crazy amount of damage, but I was able to control him. So what is this, round four? Yeah, round four. So if the opportunity does show itself, we will wrestle ourselves just because we're not able to do too much on the feet right now. Okay. He's mixing it up really well. Okay. Okay. Go to the body. Try to catch him with a high kick. He catches me with the high kick. <laughs> okay. Good shit. There we go. And I get rocked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crank kick to the body. Go to the body there. One, two. Roundhouse to the body. Thought I blocked that. Now, I haven't really shot a takedown yet because I'm still kind of confident in what's going on in this match. Especially with him throwing, you know, throwing and possibly gas. Oh, that knee was picture perfect. We can clinch him now. Two knees to the body. We got to be careful with throwing uh, roundhouses because he caught us. He caught us with a what's the call? With a flying knee last time we threw a roundhouse. It was a front kick. Oh, no. Yeah. Kind of got my block broken there. Probably should have went for. Probably should have went for a counter. Okay. There we go. There we go. Front kick. He blocks it. We got him gas now. Continue playing patient. He was going to block that one. He blocked that one as well. Catch with the elbow. Rock from there. Jack cross up top. Good night, Charles Dubronx. That was a good match. That was definitely a good match, man. Uh, can't complain about that one. Let me respect, man. Good match. GG's, bro. GG's. I hope you guys are entertained. Well, were entertained by these two fights, man. Uh, really trying to lock in on these matches and, you know, Get the dub for y'all boys and girls out there in the world, man. We got it with RDA, my favorite fighter. We didn't drop a match. So uh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm satisfied with that one.
Now, already able to go back in the box of not being used for a while. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll pull them back out another time. But hey, that being said, your boy's going to get out of here, man. I'm going to uh, catch you guys later or tomorrow, whichever it may be. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, and don't forget to keep moving forward. All right, I love you guys, man. See you.